Hi, I'm Chaplain Byron Dimner, and this is Chats with the Chaplain. I used to have a really good friend who had a Kool-Aid man tattooed on his chest. Maybe you remember the commercials from a long time ago when the Kool-Aid man would burst through a wall and he would say, Oh yeah! It was just this red glass pitcher of Kool-Aid. This guy, when I asked him, why'd you get the Kool-Aid man tattooed on your chest? All he said was, oh yeah! And it cracked me up. He and I became really, really great friends really quickly. Well, I've also had a friend that when he came over from Germany as a young child, he was assigned to me, sort of, by the principal of the middle school because the principal knew that I knew enough German to help him out if he had any questions. What the principal didn't know was that this kid also knew fluent English and so he didn't really need my help. But he and I spent the next seven years going through middle school and high school together and became great friends as well. At this time, the one thing that I can say very clearly links them together is that both of them have lost their lives in service to this country. And that's why for a long time, Memorial Day has been a very difficult day for me. I used to get upset when people would say things like, Happy Memorial Day. I would clarify for them the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day, thinking, oh, because this is close and personal to me, I obviously own the rights to make sure that you know better. I, I didn't really. And many of them did know better, but they still saw Memorial Day as a way of, of celebrating the memory instead of wallowing in it. And I think that that's a lesson that it took me a little too long to learn, if I'm honest. I would look at a memory and think, man, I better wallow here. Because if I smile about the memory of Sergeant Mertz or Lieutenant Alexander, then people won't understand. People will think that I am I'm dealing with this in a way that they don't see as right. The reality is, both of those fine gentlemen, they wouldn't want me to be upset. They'd want me to be happy. They'd want their wives and their children to be happy. They'd want their mothers and fathers to be happy. And hopefully, when we remember people on Memorial Day, no matter how we've lost them, we can find a way to pull up those memories that bring us joy, that bring us a smile. We can do whatever it is that they used to enjoy. And, and because of that, we can spend our day truly honoring those who have given their lives. Because that's what Memorial Day is really about, right? Right? Now, I'm not telling you that if you're sad, it's not okay. If you're sad, that's okay and understandable. I'll be fighting back tears for different parts of this day as their memories cross my mind. I'm fighting back tears right now. <laughs> but I also know that I can look in the mirror and see the impact that those two great gentlemen had on my life. I can walk into a room with excitement and say, oh yeah, and spend a couple of minutes chuckling. Find a way to have joy as you remember on this Memorial Day.